Dexter Grimsley, graduate in club Hall of Famer. Uh, talk about what this honor means to you. Well, it really means a whole lot. Uh, I just never expected uh, in a uh, hundred years that I'd be considered as someone that deserving of something like this. Uh, but just thank God that I had the opportunity uh, to be here, and then this happens, and I have the opportunity to be uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame. I know you talked about a lot of big picture uh, issues during your acceptance speech, but let's get it back to basketball for a second. How would you describe yourself as a player? Well, I just really describe myself as a player that really was dedicated to what I did. Uh, I love basketball from when I was a small child, but realized that it takes a lot of hard work and you have to be committed to uh, doing everything you can do to get to where you want to be. And that's usually being out playing the person that you're playing against and playing harder than that person you played against. You, you talked so much about uh, your accomplishments being tied to your teammates and to your coaches. Uh, explain that to us again. Well, honestly, I've, ne I've never been the best shooter. I've really never been the highest jumper. Uh, but in a team concept, uh, I was dependent on my players around me uh, to get the issues out of the way, whether it be another player that I recognize, I just can't out jump. But uh, another teammate there in a team aspect always end up making that, uh, that able to be done. And if individuals can't do it. We must have a team in order to do those kind of things. Today, what do you tell people when they ask you about your college basketball career? I would put it in one word, great, but I want to say that my college basketball career was exciting and, and has a lot of fun field memories, uh, and I wouldn't have changed it. You know, I wouldn't change it if anything. I, I had opportunity to change. I, I had enjoyed every second of it. You graduated with a psychology degree. You've been in child advocacy in the state of Alabama, and now you're an Alabama state legislator serving the House of Representatives. Uh, what happened here at Northwestern to help prepare you for that? Well, here at Northwestern, we had great people, not just in basketball, but we had a great student body. We have a great atmosphere. And just realizing that leadership is needed in our community, uh, we just need to be able to be that individual ready if the, if the, if the, if the right place and time uh, should present itself. And I think being here, uh, going through all of the tough times that we lived through here at Northwestern and enjoying the stay here uh, really put me in place to do that. Uh, you've traveled back here with your family, but this is not the first time you've seen the Demons play this year. Uh, talk about the Demon basketball team that you saw beat Alabama State and what you're looking for today. Well, that, that Demon basketball team looked real good that night, and I'm hoping to get the same thing. I was just so excited to hear they were coming that close, and when they do come in town, I try to make sure I make it, and I look forward to seeing them again. But that team that I saw that night, uh, can definitely I expect them to do a lot, a lot of things this year. Uh, we talked about how Coach McConaughey in his program emphasizes academics and leadership and it's the same things that your coach Dan Bell emphasized. Talk about the common threads and what influence Dan Bell and his coaches had on you. Well ultimately Coach Bell made us realize that that's what we're here for. We're here to get an education. We're here to do our school work. And then basketball was, is the fun part of us being here. But we, uh, he stressed us to make sure that we take care of what we're here to do and then uh, basketball will fall in place. And then uh, the fun times that you had, is there any particular memory that stands out? Well, I don't want to talk about, like I said, the bad memories, but we do have a lot of good memories. Uh, spending time at the lake with the teammates, uh, or riding around, going over on the strip and doing things like that together. Oh, those are memories that you'll always remember. And just having the opportunity to spend it with some good guys really made it uh, very exciting.